The macro lens is one of the most unique lenses you can own. In fact, in Apple's new line of iPhones, they made it possible to shoot macro photos with their new camera system. In this video, we took our Sandmark macro lens and put it side by side to Apple's native macro camera to see how they compare. First, let's answer the question, what is macro photography? In short, macro photography is a style of photography that involves shooting photos of small objects to make them look life-sized. You usually need a lens that specializes in zooming close enough to the subject you want to take a photo of. However, in the new iPhone 13 Pros, once the ultra-wide camera gets close enough, the macro mode activates and you can take a macro photo right there. Comparing the iPhone macro mode versus a Sandmark macro lens, we found that the iPhone is a little bit more sharp around the edges as it stitches multiple images together on the software side to create a single image. However, we found that both images are pretty soft on the corners. While the Sandmark macro lens on the wide is equally sharp in the center, it has a more natural background blur. The Sandmark macro lens also has a further focal length compared to the native iPhone macro mode. We did find it interesting mounting the Sandmark lens onto the 3X camera of the iPhone, and this is where we think the lens shines. In our testing, we put the macro lens on top of the telephoto camera, giving it a 30X reach. We found that the shots are similar to a macro lens on a DSLR or mirrorless camera. The depth of field looks a lot more natural, giving it a better background blur. Both images are equally sharp and the colors are accurate. The only thing we suggest is mounting the phone on a tripod to eliminate the micro shakes and to keep the focus on the subject. The macro lens is definitely one of our favorite lenses to experiment with as it offers a new perspective in the content we can create. If you like this video, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.